everyone, George Kenner. Some of you may have already subscribed to me and you're following me is I launched my CNC hobby. Right up here is where I'm gonna put the mini split air conditioning system. I'm in a desert environment. It gets really hot in the garage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this thing off now. Let's see if I can find that controller. There we go. Now maybe I have a little clearer sound. I am able to pull it down to about 72 degrees in here, which is fantastic as a working condition. A couple months ago, I started doing a research on a CNC machine and I, I jumped in there and I bought one. I bought the Stepcraft M1000. And before I go further, I wanna share with everybody what I was thinking when I did this, what my state of mind was. Many people would, would really like to know that, or I think would like to know that, is they consider this hobby. It's not an inexpensive one. When the Stepcraft, which is back here, my M1000 arrived, one of the first launch brochures stated this, this is a sophisticated hobby a semi-professional product for advanced craftsmen with previous experience in the operation of tools, such as electric drills, routers, and computerized tools like CNC routers or 3D printers. It must be operated with caution, common sense, and requires some basic mechanical ability. Now, I took all of that into consideration even before I made the purchase. Nothing that has come to me is, is a surprise. I knew that there was going to be a learning curve. I knew this was going, not going to be an inexpensive hobby. So as I go forward and I share this with you, I want you to understand that some of the things that have not worked perfectly, I'm going to take the credit for what I'm gonna call pilot air. I've jumped into something that I'm not really fully versed in. I've had some problems um, in setting up my CNC and I want to share those and share some of the other things that I have done along in the process. One of the first things I did, air conditioning. Had to have air conditioning out in this garage. It's just too hot in a desert environment to be out in the garage on a weekend. So. I had some decisions to make. I called some of the big air conditioning companies and they wanted about $5,000, between $3,900 and $5,000 for an air conditioner to work in my garage. Looking on Facebook, they have a mini split system that is manufactured in Mexico and for distribution in Mexico, but is sold here along the desert Southwest. The cost of the unit is $800. I decided that that was the way I was going to go. I hired an electrician to tap into my 220, move it over so that I had 220. I, I paid about $250 to do that. I paid $800 for the compressor and I paid $200 to have it installed. About 25% of what it would have cost me to have a major line company give me a 12 year warranty. This has a three year warranty. Reality is, is if it goes bad, I'll just buy another system and stick it in here. The 220 is already established. I'm not going to use this every day, but if I want to come out and work on the weekend or um, spend a little time in the evening, it has to be a tolerable temperature during the summer months. And I was able to achieve that. Now, one of the other things that I did was I had to install or come up with a method to put the butcher's block bench that the CNC system is sitting on. I went to Lowe's, I bought the butcher block, I set it on top of an existing toolbox that I had. I refinished the top. I wanted to make as dust free an environment as I could possibly say. Now some people would almost think that dust free was uh, segue into the sander that I bought, which is a Festool. This is the sander that I purchased to do the cutting boards that I wanted to do. Now, this Festool is about a $500 sander and the air system to suck up the dust and everything, I was over $2,000 into this just to make 
uh, the sander that I was going to use as dust free as I could make it. I'm getting a little older. I don't want to suck all this dust. So I want to make a disclosure about right now. I am not sponsored by Festool, Stepcraft, or anybody else. I'm just sharing the information that I have come to learn over the last couple months as I go forward with this. One thing I have learned, do not go to Rockler with a woman because what they do is run straight over to the wood. How much is it? 61. <laughs> wood can be rather expensive. This trip, purchasing a new sander from Rockler and the wood that I purchased, I was over a thousand dollars. And you know, everything doesn't go perfect when you go to these places. You need to be prepared for that. When I bought this sander, I thought I was getting a brand new sander. You know what Rockler did? They gave me the um, shop worn demo. But you know what? I plugged it in, it works perfect. I'm probably gonna get it all dusty and everything anyhow. But you know, everything's not perfect. You have to be able to roll with the punches when you're when you're starting with this hobby. The reality is, is it's probably not gonna hurt anything. You know, the warranty is still valid, but you know, it's just not quite as pretty as I thought it would be. I wanna use an analogy here. When you go out and build a race car, as soon as the frame's done and the engine's in and the seat's on, doesn't mean you go drive it. It means that the engine's in, the frame's on, and the seat's there. Yeah, you could theoretically drive it, but it's not the time to go out and do it. That's exactly where I am with my M1000. It arrived. You must have a machine for me. What's that? I said, you must have a machine for me. I do. I've waited for this thing for like three months. I have you really? Yeah, so I bought it. There you go. Perfect. I'm very satisfied with um, the delivery time. I ordered a custom machine with a lot of the high-end items. I figured I didn't want to purchase a machine and then wish that I had bought other accessories that didn't arrive, you know, or that I would have to buy at some point later in time. That just was not what I wanted to do. So I waited, I bought the high-end. I bought a tool changer. And now the tool changer requires a special computer coding. Entering that information into the computer is beyond my ability. It's the weekend. I cannot reach out to customer service. You know, I'm going to have to wait nine to five. These guys rate a weekend also. And, uh, you know, when they're back at work, I'm going to start back off. So, and besides, there's plenty more to do. Setting up my shop has been a real challenge to design it all out and then still plan to be able to do videos like this and share the little things that I find. You know, I went into Rockler in San Diego and I found these. They got to be the biggest cotton swabs I've ever seen. But I was thinking, you know, if you need to get down in there into those rails, these could be really good. This in a package of what I think amounted to about a thousand, maybe a thousand is a stretch. Maybe it's 250 um, cotton swabs to do cleaning and stain or whatever, $9. It was a half to buy. One of the things that I also had to buy when I bought the second Festool sander. We got a new Festool. Here because this one's smaller and there is a door over here that I want to I'm going to refinish it. It is got a wood stain on it. I'm either going to restain it or I'm going to paint it. I think I'm going to paint it because I like the clear white wall feeling to a workshop. But this, another $450. And it was, again, more manageable for my girlfriend. So it's all good. I'm happy with that. When I set up my tool changer, I came to the realization that I was going to have to have an air compressor, not a big air compressor. You know what was really funny? The guy that came out to sell me the, um, comp the air conditioning compressor, he saw it and I told him I was selling it. I literally lateraled across. I sold him a large air compressor, went to Lowe's and bought the smaller recommended compressor for the 
um, the CNC system, which to me, I mean, straight across, I got a brand new air condition, air compressor. The other air compressor was 10 years old. I, I mean, I was a winner all the way around. This air compressor, I've had a little minor problem with one of the fittings from the air compressor into the hose that drives the cylinder um, exchange for the tool compressor. It leaks a little bit. That's an expected kind of thing. What I'm trying to say is that you're going to run in to problems when you do this. It's like being an it's like being an engineer. It's like being a mechanic. You're here to solve and resolve issues to make that final product. These are just the tools. Again, no one in this industry that I've run into has diminished the amount of technical expertise or study that's going to have to go into this to make it successful. If you're thinking of getting involved in this hobby, be aware of that. I take on the challenge. I'm happy to move forward and try and find a solution. So where I sit today is I have taken my CNC, I've set it on the platform. It appears to be somewhat level. Got a couple little problems that I don't understand in the leveling process. I'll work through that again. It's like a race car. I've got to get everything dialed in before I drive it. And it's an expensive race car. I do not want to mess it up. I will take the time to hear from the experts to get this all right. Because I want really good results when I make the products that I make. I have, I want to make some furniture. I want to redo part of my kitchen. Um, one of my friends has challenged me to make a guitar. Why not? I mean, I have the machine. I've seen other people program their machines to do that. So why couldn't I? I'm just thinking, if you're, if you're really considering getting into this hobby, you may want to you know, listen to the fact that it's not easy. It's worth it, but it's not easy. Don't get frustrated. Don't yell at people. There's no reason to get upset because you don't have the knowledge that you're seeking. You're going to get the information if you go look for it. I wish everyone out there the absolute best. Come back. As soon as I have this machine fully running, I will let you know. 